Because the Hanna Barbera days, that was all hand drawn and everything. And and how does that compare to now? Because things are a lot more digital now. Mm -hmm. How how do they compare? Um. Well, luckily we're it's mostly just drawing things still, even though we're drawing on glass on a Cintiq. But it still hasn't really changed any of the the thinking or the way of of producing these things until it gets to the back end to the final production and uh, you know animation and compositing but I mean we're still drawing the backgrounds really we're painting them it's Photoshop but they're still they're still painted we're still designing all of our models and special poses and it's um, it's new tools just new tools it's just another kind of pencil we just now have laser pencils and yeah. um, so it, you know, it offers some cool things that you can have a few more tricks in your, you know, on your palette and different things you can do. Yeah. Like multi-planing and, mm -hmm. and 3D. Yep, all the super it's parallax exciting. of the backgrounds and the, you know, that makes that stuff a lot easier. A lot of color tricks can happen. We can, we can apply uh, painted textures to animated forms way easier than you, know, you could if it were on cell. So there's a lot of bonuses to it. But um, yeah, but yeah. I, I wonder though, like those, the, you know, the old animators, the old greats, you know, and some of them are still with us. And mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I wonder how you feel about that, you know, because things are a lot more digital now. And, well, yeah. I mean, I love it. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I love it all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah, I mean, I love like yeah, hand drawn stuff. I love to see rough animation on paper, pencil tests, and see all the smudges in it and. And, um, but yeah, we're, we work with the tools we're given and, and yeah. try to use them to the best of their ability. And it looks wonderful. The cartoons look wonderful. Cool. They really do. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they have a hand drawn quality combined with the modern tools and everything. I think they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. I really do. Right on. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, let's see, I might ask you one last question uh, about the, the Hanna-Barbera days. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite character from back then, or a character you particularly like to work with? Or? Like from the old Hanna Barbera Library, or well, that too, or yeah. the characters we did at Cartoon yeah, Network? Yeah, well, yeah. well, I'm a big fan of the Space Ghost Coast to Coast, uh -huh. where they like re, you know, reuse that stuff. And, and mm -hmm. did you do stuff with the old characters too? Uh, took a stab at trying to develop the Hair Bear Bunch at one point early on. Um, Wow. And Scooby Doo was always a favorite. Uh, it was fun to do Secret Squirrel because that was one of the cool, fun characters from from the '60s. Yeah, um, yeah. and there's the Johnny Bravo episode, of course, where he's with with the Scooby Doo gang. Yeah, yeah, it's a classic. Uh -huh, it's <laughs> yeah, we tried to sneak in some cameos in Dexter's Lab. There's a couple George Jetsons and Fred Flintstones and things in the background every once in a while. Uh, Recently, uh, they uh, they redid the Powerpuff Girls uh, in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's like anime, you know, they animeified the Powerpuff Girls. Yep. Did you like that, or what did you think of that? Uh, I'm not really a fan of reimagining things all you know, completely. I mean, you know, maybe I'm guilty of reimagining Mickey Mouse or something, but I didn't. I don't think that I'm doing things that weren't already done. Um, we're just, it's just coming through our filter now. Whereas that one just felt, I just, I just was weird. I like, it was like, we already decided that it was this way and then somebody else takes, takes one of your creations and then decides that it should be different. Yeah. And it, it's odd to me. I, yeah. I don't know. There yeah. was there wasn't enough time away, in between for for yeah, it needing needing to be refreshed like that. I mean, yeah. They're changed so much. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe it's that's one thing when you reinterpret Batman over and over in different ways yeah. because he's such such a solid, iconic character that he can withstand those kinds of reiterations. Whereas I think that was just it was just too new, too fresh. To well, maybe it was sort of an experiment as well to see 
you know, how it worked, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, they definitely were experimenting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can get behind that. So. Yeah, yeah experimentation is always mm -hmm. good, right? And uh, I haven't seen much of it, but some of the, one of the old directors from back in the day has just recently done a new Power Puff special for the network. I don't know if I'm letting a cat out of a bag. I don't know if this is official, but <clears throat> Dave Smith, who used to work on the old shows, directed a new Power Puff special. And uh, I think it's mostly in 3D, but it's more true to the original stuff from the 90s, and uh, Kevin Dart is art directing it, and uh, it sounds like it should be really nice. Like that, it sounds like that can be a fun, fresh take on it, because I believe it's coming from the same spirit of where the show came from originally, so I'm excited to see what they did with that one. Yeah, me too. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah. keep an eye peeled. Yeah, <laughs> I <cool>. will. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's interesting about it these days is, like. Uh, these days, people can make cartoons without needing, like, you need a computer, you know? Mm -hmm. I, I think that's very exciting. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it is very exciting that, that there's more tools at, readily available at people's fingertips these days. It was such, well, it still is a laborious process, but it used to take so much manpower and so much money, basically. So. Um, that it was hard to produce things independently. And, and that's becoming more available to people and easier, and that's just better for everybody, that you can get your ideas out there, you can really show what you mean. Um, you know, the digital workplace, the global digitality of everything is bringing artists together from places where they may, ne may never have met one another, and, and there's you know, more connectivity and communication that's just gonna help uh, uh, connect artists. And, and I, think, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's awesome that people can make their stuff and put it on the web and be seen all over the world. And, and uh, it, you're not just locked to um, broadcast television. Yeah. You know, there's, it's much more open these days, so. And it means a voice can be heard that maybe in the past couldn't be heard. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Let's do the hug for Yay. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah. It was really fun. It's great meeting you too. I know. Thank okay. you so much. You bet.